Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, we will be... I don't even know what I'm going to call it. <laughs> I always do that because this is so natural for me to just say that at this point. That I don't even think about, hey, what am I actually going to do? I just say, hey, you know what we're doing? And I don't even know what we're doing. All I know is that I want to do a sunset eye look. So I don't know how I'm going to do this or what. I just want to play with some colors that remind me of a sunset but like maybe even fire so something along the lines of that definitely want to do that that's all i know so i have no idea what i'm titling this video but i'm sure it'll be something <laughs> great so we have a lot of eyeshadow palettes here that i want to use for my eyes so i am going to start off with my eyes which i never do before never i never do ever that's what i meant to say <laughs> I don't know but anyway I just really wanted to play with some makeup I was like hey and then I was like well let's do something fire or very beautiful so we wanted to I wanted to go with this I have some new eyeshadow palettes that I want to play with my Laura Lee Los Angeles palettes I want to play with these so bad and this one has a lots of colors in here and then just different palettes I want to reach into and play with so yeah without further ado let's just get started so we're gonna start off with primer before I do my eyes. I know it's a little weird, but I feel like my face is really, really dry because I just got out the shower and I didn't moisturize or anything like that. So we're gonna use this Yensa Color Up Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. Um, this one is not super hydrating, which is why I want it because it's like hot, really hot today. But it is, I think, moisturizing enough that I won't feel like my face is gonna crackle off, you know? Oh, I love this primer. <laughs> I feel alive now. All right, so to start off the eyeballs, let's move you a little bit, a little bit closer. All right, to start off with the eyes, we're going to use the e.l.f. All Day Stay Eyeshadow Primer. I just want to get a very, like, a natural base for, like, a natural even base for all the shadows to apply to. Super nice, because I really want it to look beautiful and seamless and not like my usual all over the place kind of shadow, so... <laughs> um... I am going to just jump into my Laura Lee Los Angeles Sleigh Bell palette. She, there's the bright light shades. It's just a cream matte right there. I'm just going to take that, like a cream matte shade, and just um, push it in all over. Again, because I want a flat, neutral, and even base that the eyeshadows can blend on top of. Um, and so my eyes aren't like veiny or different colors or anything like that just so they're all one shade of cream <laughs> all right so whew. okay i want to start with yellow i knew that for a fact um but the Lorely los angeles party animal palette does not have a yellow so i want to take this yellow in my elf modern metals palette um it's the yellow right here they don't have names on it but i want to take this yellow and just blend it in my entire crease I want it to be super, super pigmented and like super yellow. I really didn't have many options for yellows. So I was like, no. And yellows, honestly, guys, like yellows are once in a lifetime, once in a look kind of a deal. But um, when you don't have it, it's still kind of sad. Okay. What is that? Uh, the horror. These pan sizes are so small that when I dipped this brush in here, it went in the blue. This look is failing already, and I'm super mad because I wanted it to go super well. And so, it's failing already. Okay, there we go. Same brush. I'm using the, um, I just got this in a BoxyCharm. This is a Luxie 250 brush. It's a large blending brush. Large eye blending. I love this brush, especially for crease work. I need to like wash it every day because I want to use it every single day to do my makeup. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more, see how yellow it can really, really get. Um, we are going to go back and blend throughout the look as I add more colors because I really want this yellow to stay there. But for now, we're just going to let it go. Just gonna move on. <laughs> I really like it though, it looks nice. All right, so next I think what we are gonna do, 
Okay, I think we're gonna take a more detailed crease brush and I'm gonna take, oh, I don't wanna take this one, yes. I think we're gonna take, um, go into my Laura Los Angeles Party Animal Palette and do the shade Dranks. And then I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do because it's a little bit hard to explain. Oh my gosh, so pigmented. I'm so excited. You're just gonna put it on the outer corner and then put it right in the socket of the eye. And try not to drag it up any higher because I want the yellow, like I said, a hundred times. But um, right in the socket. All right, I was a little afraid of this shade because I thought it was gonna be super pigmented. So now I'm picking up a little bit more and not blowing off so much. And I'm super here for this shade and the way that this blended together. Stop, that's beautiful. I really, one thing I really like about this, this shadow, the drink shadow from the Party Animal palette that I'm seeing right now is that it's very buildable. I don't feel like it's punches on a bunch of color that you have like rubbing to get off. I feel like it's very buildable, but like very easy to blend out and mix with other shades. It's going really nice, nothing patchy, nothing crazy. I feel like I have to say that stuff, especially when you're talking about like Laura Lee, because everyone complains and whines about everything. And I feel like I should just let you know that I don't think it's as bad as people say, at least this shade and right now. I feel like it's super nice. All right, so we're gonna go back with the yellow from the e.l.f. Modern Metals palette. And again, just blend out the crease, because like I said, I do not want to use lose that yellow lose the yellow don't do it Ugh. I just want to leave it like this I feel like no matter what I do next it's gonna mess it up okay so I want to add a little bit of definition here all right, so what we're going to do, okay, I know what I'm going to do right now. We're going to take, we're going to reach into the Laura Los Angeles Boss Babe palette. I just got these, so that's why I'm playing with them so much. We're going to take a packing brush. This is the Morphe M321 brush. We're going to take the shade 9 to 5 and just pack that on the outer corner. Whew. We're going to blend it all the way into the crease right here just so that the orange and this one are mixed together. I just wanna add some depth, but also, okay, you know, I think we're just gonna bring it in the inner corner and the front, yeah. inner and outer corner. So it'll be like yellow, orange, deepness. Just gonna go back with the orange before we lose her. We can't lose her. Does anybody else watch Grey's Anatomy? I watch Grey's Anatomy. Like, you can't lose her. You can't lose her. She's, like, not even dead in real life, but I'm, like, crying right now. <laughs> Story of Grey's Anatomy. I do have to say, these shadows, they're pretty powdery, but I feel like that, um doesn't bother me like if you want to look in there they're pretty powdery but it doesn't bother me too much I feel like it makes it the shadows that's why the shadows are so like easy to blend I don't know even the orange is pretty powdery as well in the other palette got me dripping in finesse it don't make no sense guys I have no lashes and I want to do lashes but I have no lashes she should need to get lashes. Okay, I really think I'm gonna go into the Boss Babe uh, palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles and dip into the shade Hustler. And literally just put that in the center of my... Girl, that is pigmented. I want you guys to see. That is beautiful. I'm gonna need a brush because I have fat fingers. I just wanted to see how it applied with fingers first, and it is gorgeous. I just have fat fingers, so it makes life hard for me. But we are still gonna go from inner corner all the way to outer corner. I know we just put a shade down, but it's fine. 
I'm gonna use the Morphe M167 brush. I feel so amazing saying all that. All right, definitely applies better with the finger, but you can still see it's building up to be gorgeous once you get it on there. I'm gonna spray the brush. Oh yes, girl. People are literally nothing but haters because this shadow is good. It's a good one. There's a lot of fallout on my face. But I kind of knew that when I do creative looks, there's fallout all over. That's why I decided not to do my base first. I know, I know. Everyone's like, hey, told ya. I really don't think it's necessary all the time. Let's get that straight. All right, so we're going to go back. I'm just going to fast forward this through this because we're just going to keep blending the yellow, the orange, and the red that I was using just to really get kind of the dimension. I'm going to move you in a little bit closer, and then we're going to keep, we're just going to speed through that, and then we'll move on to the face. I'm so here for this vibe right now. This eye is like stunning. This eye is not perfected. I don't know what's different about them, but like this eye, she's the sister slanging the game. All right, for mascara, I haven't decided if I wanna put on eyeliner yet, but we're gonna do mascara anyway, I know. We're gonna use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara because I'm here for it. I haven't curled my eyelashes in a hot minute, so we're gonna do that and see how it works together. Ugh. Ooh, ooh. OMG, yes, girl. I'm here for this right now. It's like that perfect, wispy, girly vibe. There's eyeshadow all over me. But it's like that perfect, girly vibe that I'm like in love with. It's literally perfect. Ooh. It looks like I have falsies on. Not gonna lie, it looks like I have falsies on. I'm okay with that. All right, so we're going to use a uh, makeup remover, get all this extra eyeshadow off of me, and then we are going to move on to foundation. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be a full coverage queen today. We're going to go, wow, I had to reach real far for that one. <laughs> we are going to definitely go with my Maybelline, um, what are you called? What the heck are you called? Super Stay. That's what it is. Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. I love this foundation. It is my summer shade for sure. Um, way too dark for fall and I just don't wear it during the school year. Um, during the fall, I guess. But during the winter, during the summer, it's my baby. gonna blend her out I did dampen well I did spray my sponge I literally I was talking to my friend um yesterday and we were talking about like he gets sunburn and I get suntan and I was like what the heck I hate tanning every single day because I literally every time I go outside I might I work at a summer camp so I'm outside all day every single day of the week okay Monday through Friday not the weekend, but either way, on the weekends, I'm doing stuff with friends that involves either being outside or having to go outside at some point in my day. So I tan really, really fast. I tan a lot. Um, and, and it really, really sucks, especially because I do makeup or like, cause I love doing makeup. Basically I love putting makeup on my face and 
I have to buy a new shade and everything all the time in the summer if I did every time I tanned and I'm just not about that life so I just choose not to so that's why that was a really random tangent but I just guess I was saying that to say if this doesn't match me it's because I literally change shade every single day and it's not even like I'll just get darker and darker and darker it'll still be like some days I'm really really light skin some days I'm really tan and then I'll get tan for like a week and then I'll get light and then I'll get light for a week <laughs> like it's just all over the place um obviously if I'm in and out of outside a lot or if it's raining a lot and I'm not really outside like just kind of like that but generally I'm a different color every day it's just my life <laughs> all right so we're gonna move on to concealer I'm gonna use my Sephora um bright future concealer I don't know if they're discontinuing this or like the foundation or something I honestly haven't even checked but um I'm trying to just use this concealer up and it's the only one that matches me right now so we just we just use it I'm not a huge fan I don't hate it um, like if I need something shade matched to me, I'm going to buy this one because it's the cheapest thing at Sephora. It's the cheapest concealer at the Sephora that they can shade match you for. So, um, that's what I like to do. <laughs> I know I, but I'm the worst with matching myself. I cannot match my shade for the life of me. So if I need a shade match, I'm going to Sephora. I really feel like going in right now. So we're gonna take, this is actually the Cody Airspun powder. I have it in a flower beauty container. I say this every time I use it, but I feel like people might question because I don't like the flower beauty powder. <laughs> I like the Airspun way better. I'm just gonna, I just set my nose, but I'm just gonna take this powder and put it underneath my eyes to bake a little bit. Oh my gosh. And then I'm just gonna take kind of a little bit of the extra and set the rest of my face with it. Ugh, super full coverage. I'm so excited. I haven't... <sighs> I haven't put on this much makeup in a long time. And I'm here for it. Here for it. Okay, so then we are gonna obviously bronze and do my brows before I take off this bake. We're gonna let that shake and bake for a little bit. For brows, I was feeling a little bougie and I was going to use my Benefit one, but we're just going to go with e.l.f. because I really want to use this one. I don't know. Uh, this is the e.l.f. brow pencil. It's like the $2 one. I have the shade. Ugh. Neutral brown. Crap. I was like, natural beige. I couldn't think of the words. Ugh. Neutral brown. We're just going to let that rock. All right, for bronzer, I genuinely want, let me, I keep knocking stuff on the floor and it's so hard to pick up. Okay, for bronzer, I don't know why I use why I wanna use this for so bad, but this is the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. I have the shade Warm, shade warm Caramel because I want to use it as a bronzer. <sighs> um, When I bought it and I just, I love this powder. It is so soft, so beautiful, and I do love it as a bronzer. Would I repurchase it as a bronzer? No, just because it's not meant to be a powder bronzer, but I might repurchase it as a powder because it is just so light and like soft on the face. Ugh. It just does edge job so well. I guess I'm using it for a different job. Whatever. It just looks so nice on the face. How about that? So we're just going to take a small brush. This is the BH Cosmetics number three brush in this like pink handled set. They don't have like names or anything like that because they're just sets. Of brushes we're gonna go a little bit crazy I'm gonna take the shade home slice from my main square color pop main squeeze palette it kind of has a little bit of shimmer in it but we're just gonna put that across the lower lash line oh just to get some red up in here Stop, I'm here for it. I'm using kind of a thick brush to do this. So I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take a clean brush and just blend it out. I don't want the shade to lose its red, like I don't wanna add yellow and make it orange, and I don't wanna add orange and make it like orange. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a clean brush, but I do wanna blend it out. Blender out, and then, and then, 
I'm here for this eye look. Okay, shockingly enough, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an eyeliner, a pendant, a wooden one, and put this brown on my waterline. It's going to take me a year and a half because I have to pull my eye on right now. I'm not pulling my eye because I'm holding this. So we're just going to stop that and fast forward real quick. And yeah, that just makes the eyes pop like crazy. All right, so we are going to do lower lash mascara. We're gonna add a little bit more to the top because they fell a little bit. I think that's what happens when I curl them and then put mascara on it because this has not, they my eyelashes have not fallen this bad while using this mascara since I've opened it. So the only thing I changed was the um, curling them. Ah! All right. We are going to add some inner corner highlight because the girl needs it. But what color should we do? Okay, so I think we're going to use, we're going to go back into my, um, I'm going everywhere, I know. This is the Sleigh Bell palette from Laura Lewis And just, we're going to go into the shade Wish List right here in the middle. And just put that on the inner oh, corner. Oh, yikes. She better work. gonna add a little bit on the brow bone oh yikes girl she better work she better work all right i already know what lipstick i want so i gotta do my the first of my face first all right so for blush i'm going to dip into my tart blush i have the shade prim this is 20 Amazonian clay, 24 hour. I feel like that's kind of self-explanatory when I hold up the Amazonian clay ones. Um, but, you know, people, whatever. Act like they don't know. Whew, do I want something? Okay, this is, like, super, super neutral. And I really like it. But for this look, I think I want something oh, a little bit more peachy. So we're going to dip into the Tarte Blush Book. And I'm going to dip into the shade Rara right here. I already knew what I wanted and she's gonna give me some peach there she goes it's like a peachy corally kind of vibe that i really love especially with these warm tones on my eyeballs mm, now we're working all right <laughs> and then for highlighter let's use a baby we haven't used in a while all right i'm gonna use this Ofra highlighter, I have the Everglow highlight and the shade Everglow, I think it is. It's the Nikki Tutorials collab. We're just gonna oh, slay with some of that real quick. I'm really going hard with this highlight. I don't even know why. I just want to put it everywhere. Okay, and lastly for the lips, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Okay, this is the Sephora lip story. I have the shade Labyrinth City, number nine. It is a matte. Oh, my lips are a little bit dry for a matte right now in this moment. Okay, a little bit better. So, um... We're just gonna see if this is gonna look good. I really wanted to put it on, but I wasn't sure how good it would look. So we'll change it if it looks bad, for sure. Okay, I love it. I think it looks beautiful. I love these lip stories. They're so cute. I need to get more of them because I really do like them. Um, let's add we're gonna add some pixie glow mist it has um this one I'm just gonna say a pixie glow mist because i don't feel like explaining everything that's in it anyway guys that is it for this very fun look i don't know what inspired it i kind of was just like i really want to do something like beautiful on the face and i feel like i don't know it looks pretty good <laughs> if i do say so myself that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it comment below what you want to see more of what you like seeing if you like seeing videos like this where i just sit down and literally just play with makeup i love filming these but you know people don't always watch so let me know if you enjoyed it if you want to see more um i definitely want to do a look using more of the colors 
from the Boss Babe palette because it is just stunning, literally stunning. This orange was stunning, so I want to play with more of these stunning <laughs> shades. Do something maybe deep dark with these blues here and these purples. Ooh, that would be gorgeous. So let me know if you're interested in that. If there's any palette you're like, hey, can you do a look with this label palette? Like, for sure, I will. I'm dying to use the shade Jolly. Ooh, that might be a look right there. That's a look. That's a look. We might be doing this. Next. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. That is really it for this video, guys. I don't know why I'm trying to drag it on. Um, and yeah, bye, guys. Hello, everybody. What's up? Let me shut my fan off. All right. So then, now that that's done, I am going to set my eyeshadow.